Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. You're probably looking at what am I showing you guys? Well, I want to thank Valvoline for stripping the drain plug. The inside of it, it's all stripped, it's hexagonal. Now to remove it, it becomes a challenge. So I'm not sure if they even replaced the gear oil because the last time gear oil was serviced on this front differential according to the service rec according to the service records is by Valvoline. I tried chisel, then work, so I bought some tools. I'm gonna try see if it's gonna work if I can remove that. If not, well we're gonna try some other options. Well let's see if this tool bolt extractor or we can get it. Either that or keep keep chopping away with the chisel. Not sure what to do. Finally, I was able to break it loose. First I use the chisel to cut it, to notch it out, as you can see, and then I use the, I use that, like a hole puncher, pointy, and keep drying with a hammer until it starts turning, so it did break it loose. So, thanks Valvoline for destroying it and making it harder. I even used one of those bolt extractors and I actually cut into a smaller pit, cut the tip off so it fits better. Yeah, as you can see. Using a grinder, I cut it off, but didn't work. Chisel and a hole puncher, a hole, one of those pointy, whatever they call them, I was able to break it loose because I'm not a fan of drilling. I don't want to introduce any shavings on the inside, and because I'll show you more details actually. So as you can see the plug is removed, it's all stripped on the inside. Let me show you how the new looks like. You see it hex on the inside, hexagonal, brand new, brand new plug picked up today and this is the one that's stripped. One was fluid was changed at Valvoline according to the service records, they did a really good job stripping this plug on the inside. So they stripped it pretty good. So what I did, I used the chisel. Chisel to, to start without maybe with but metals too soft and end up chipping it away. And the threads are kind of damaged. So they did really bad the, And then I used so these are the tools that I was using. Chisel and that whatever this thing is called, hole puncher, I don't know what this thing is called. I'll post a link in case you ever need. That's my first choice when removing stuff like that. Put it there, as you can see. Put it there and keep hammering with you know heavy hammer until it starts turning. And that was it. So that's how I removed hexagonal drain bolt. And by the way, this is on Toyota Tundra, but many car manufacturers are using hex. Not just the drain bolts, but for other bolts. I don't know why, but 
that's the that's what they choose to use if you ever had to remove uh, a damaged bolt let me know in the comment section how you did how you removed it I know a guy who works on cars too and I asked him and he's like well he drilled it out well I don't want to drill it because of the magnet I didn't want to damage the magnet and I didn't want to send the magnet inside the uh, front differential inside so I'm like well plus there is not much room to to drill it so super tight so that's why those those tools are opposed to link you know what I mean they're useful I would have to say better than any other tool extraction I, I had because they, they work you know what I mean as long as you get a grip on a bolt use the right hole punchers or chisel you can turn it you know because this is like 26 probably foot pounds torqued or something like that the bolt itself so well thanks for watching and if you have a bad experience with those shops drop me a comment I want to hear your story you know the more I work on this vehicle the more I find how much bad job was done service in this vehicle in terms of you know not using proper washers over torquing it so those guys you know what I mean they whoever worked on it definitely had no clue what they were doing they stripped it and damaged and and the shop earned a bad reputation for themselves so it was done at Valvoline thank you and have fun